here's the way how you can install GTA 4 on your Linux PC uh, before we start you should know that you should have a powerful PC to run this game if you have a weak laptop with an Intel integrated video card uh, the chances are big that it won't work it's very CPU hungry this game and one more thing the GTA 5 for now doesn't work there are a lot of reasons for that but one of them and I believe the most significant reason is that Wine doesn't support DirectX 10 or 11 so we don't work unless they had that support well let's begin our tutori tutorial it qu it's quite easy I'm pretty sure the Steam version will work uh, uh, just as easy as this tutorial goes but I don't own a Steam version I have the old retail version and I'm gonna show you what you, you should do but please note that uh, I'm not gonna provide you with any game disk I'm just gonna provide you some tools that will help you uh, install GTA 4 on your Linux PC you should have uh, the game disc you should have purchased it or I don't know I'm not providing you the game disc it's illegal and make sure that uh, your country's copyright law gives you the right to edit and uh, change some DLLs look into this and let's begin well the first thing you need to do is to get uh, plan Linux you can go to planlinux.com download whatever this go to downloads and download whatever distribution you are using the file of whatever distribution you need I'm using Ubuntu so I will download this file and install it okay I already have it so let's start it okay after we started the first thing we need to do we need to install a wine version for that press tools and a join version and I tested it with 1.7.51 x86 because the 64 bit wine is very buggy so make sure that x86 the 30 you will install the 32 bit wine make sure select the 32 bit wine this is the 32 bit wine select one select 1.7 point 1.7.51 or the latest wine whatever it will be but I tested with this one and it worked okay and press this arrow key next and it will start the download I'm gonna pause the video and come back after the download is complete as you can see it's, uh, the download has finished it's just extracting the wine it will finish it finished okay now close this and we need to create a new wine prefix for that press configure press new next 32 bit and the wine version we downloaded let's name our wine prefix something I'll call it GTA 4 and next it's creating the wine prefix it will take some time and uh, make sure that uh, you put at the game disk in your ROM and uh, anything you put in your ROM or mount or whatever will end up in slash media slash your username I'm gonna show you where everything will appear anyway select now GTA 4 and let's start the installation process for that press miscellaneous and run an exe file now let's select our GTA 1 disk let's select GTA 4 and select setup exe ok next uh, read this uh, and accept it if you accept next uh, next 
next typical or you can change something I just select typical and next and install now it will take some time so I'm gonna pause the video and co come back after the download is complete we don't download the installation is complete okay when it's gonna show us to change the disk we're gonna just do that change the disk and select browse and it should everything that you put into your uh, uh, PC appears in uh, mount directory media directory you can see that it shows the disk second disk or you can uh, as you can see it's in media slash your username and everything appears in media directory so let's select disk 2 and let's press ok and let's press ok no we don't ok let's do it again ok disk 2 no, this is strange let's select this uh, okay okay i don't know why did it do it it should not have done it but if it does it just do the same as i did i'm gonna pause the video and come back after the installation is complete and see it's asking us to install uh, games for windows we don't need it let's press cancel and yes finish Okay. Okay. So we'll install DirectX. Uh, at least we'll try. and then we can after these installations are complete we can install the update and uh, just i told you i'm gonna provide you with any every tool you will need to start gta 4 press next okay and cancel we don't need this yes and finish now we will need to update our game uh, patch 1.7 uh, 1.07 this is that patch and let's install it now run an exe download the water folder uh, i will provide in the description gta patch and update title Uh, okay, it's started our update. Okay. And finished. Uh, now we, what we need to do is to change to exe file. Now oh, let's press cancel here again. We need to change as a add this dll this will remove the games for windows requirement so we can start the game actually and this access will uh, by adding this access to the game and replacing an exe uh, will allow us to start this game so press open virtual directory and make sure that your country's copyright law gives you the rights to change the access and edit them drive c programming files rockstar games gta okay let's add this copy copy paste fantastic and let's copy this access 
copy and let's paste them here apply replace fantastic let's close this now let's create a shortcut to start the game I'll press general GTA 4 and general and make a new shortcut from the virtual drive it will scan for all the uh, files it thinks that it can create a shortcut out of and we're gonna select one uh, this GDR this launcher GTA 4 this is what we need next next and finally I'm gonna show you this step okay disappear okay we can press cancel here if we want to or wait and then press cancel okay and final step I would show I want to show you press wine configure wine and graphics and emulate virtual desktop well, if you want to run this game without any headaches you will start this and select whatever resolution you want to run this game in, in windowed mode it won't run in full screen mode if you enable this but and uh, I ran this, ran this game in full screen mode without this and it ran pretty good but if you want to avoid headaches that every game under wine can cause you will run this in a windowed mode so I'm gonna start it in windowed mode for this test at least or presentation or tutorial then select automatically capture the mouse in full screen windows you should enable this otherwise uh, my mouse point pointer won't work properly in the game okay so if you don't want to run this game in uh, windowed mode you just disable this but for this test and it runs, it runs more stable in windowed mode the so wine wine application uh, applications under wine run uh, better not better safer in uh, windowed mode so apply okay last thing before I forget uh, you should select display and in the video memory size you should set whatever your graphics card memory is mine is 1024 so I would set 1024 this doesn't change a lot just in one place it shows the right amount of video memory that your graphics card has and make sure that you're, you are using the proprietary drivers of your graphics card so that's it and that's it actually now if you want to start this game either you double click here or press here and it will start the performance is uh, lower than what you would get in windows but it runs so I'm gonna show you that it starts and thank you for watching please comment like and subscribe and I wish you the best of luck Thank you.